um, and um, there was a funny story. Well, my boyfriend, um, well, he went to one of the kindergarten in Providence to give a um, speech about Indian. Um, he was kind of just helping his um, Indian friends to um, talk about what kind of country it is and um, what kind of cultural um, do they have over there in India. So what happened is all those little kids, they were kind of screaming and saying, oh, I love Chinese food, I love Chinese food. Did you bring me some? Oh, can you bring me some? And um, is panda real? Can we you know, get to see the pandas? And he was like so embarrassed because that, um, that presentation was about India. And um, all of his um, Indian friends were kind of, you know, didn't know what to do. So from there, we can tell like how popular or what kind of profound influence um, Chinese food has in America. So let's get to the main part: how to how to make basic homemade Chinese food. Um, if you are a um, vegetarian, you can focus on the veggie parts. If you are a meat eater, you might want to um, keep an eye on the uh, meat part. And my favorite part is the mixed style because I am a meat eater, but um, I want to be, you know, keep fit. So, get to the veggies. What is this? Anybody can tell? Or Chinese students actually know, right? What is that? Shanghai, right? That's our leathers. Um, they are like a oyster, um, oyster oil on the top. So, how to make it? Very, very easy. The basic um, principle of Chinese cooking is fry. We fry everything. It's not like you put them in oil to fry. You kind of, <laughs> okay, you kind of just um, um, use three spoon oil. That's the average, and put everything in it, whatever you want to add. So, what do you need? Leathers, or um, the other one is. Um, Oyster oil. You can find it's very common in um, supermarkets. You don't need to buy that from typical like a uh, specific Chinese market. You can find it any anywhere. So what do you do is you boil um, half a pot of um, of water, put a little bit soy sauce in it because um, it's gonna add a little bit like a salty flavor to the water, and then put the lettuce into the water. Wait until it cook it kind of um, turn into like a transparent. Is that the word? Yeah, um, and then um, you just kind of um, um, get them out of the pot, dump the water, and um, fry some garlic if you would like or you're not <coughs> allergic to that. And put the oyster water, um, oyster oil into the pot and fry with the garlic, and then put that on the veggies, whatever veggies you want to have. That's the basic um, procedure. It's very easy. Just fry them. So meat. What is this? I don't <coughs> actually think anybody can tell a name, but um, it's Coca-Cola chicken wing. I know you guys love Coca-Cola, and uh, American Americans love chicken wing. So that's um, one of the special I kind of um, want to introduce. And that's, that's the very good example for you to learn how to cook meat in Chinese way or Chinese style. You need chicken wing, of course, or a bottle of um, Coca-Cola. Um, what what am I doing here? I was um, actually put some slice on the chicken wing so the flavor can actually get into the meat. It's um, more tasty. And um, the first step is boil. You boil the water, put the chicken wings into the water, boil for like three to five minutes until the, um, until the blood or, um, in the meat come out of the meat. So it's be healthier, it's gonna be healthier for you. And um, dump the water, you know, take the chicken wings out and fry the same thing, fry some garlic or um, whatever ginger ingredients you want to put in. And um, fry the chicken wing until the skin turns gold. So um, the key step here, that's cola. If you want it sweet, um, sweeter, you can use half seed because it's um, more sugar in it. So you don't need any other ingredient for the um, Coca-Cola chicken wing because as we all know, average a bottle of um, Coca-Cola has one third of sugar and one third of salt inside. So you don't actually need anything else. Um, you might wanna, that's soy sauce again. Um, Chinese, you know, love soy sauce. That's soy sauce. The only reason I put that in is just kind of um, make the color darker so it looks, mm, more color, color, color. Okay. Um, stew for 30 to 40 minutes. Depends on you know how many you are cooking, and um, 
after the color actually kind of um, you know getting sticky and thick, you can you know just get them out of the pot. Okay, mix the style. Um, oh, go back to the chicken wing. So three steps instead of the um, just fried vegetables. Boil the water. Um, oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, boil the water for the chicken wing and stew. That's it. Simple. Very simple. Mixed style. Um, that's uh, that's my favorite part because I actually love meat. All kinds of meat. I don't have any um, special, you know, or allergic to anything. So um, I usually. I can eat meat all day long, but I am trying to, you know, stay healthy and, you know, keep in fit. So, mixed style is very important for our daily life. Um, I chose onion fried, um, egg fried onion because egg is easy to find and onion is very common in America. I didn't actually choose any special ingredients or any special material from China or um, whatever special thing you, you can only get in some spe um, specific place because um, it's just kind of easier for you to you know cook them. So onion, egg fried onion. Basic style, um, basically you just need onion and egg, that's it. Chop the onion into small slices, um, fry the egg, okay by the way this is chopsticks. Um, we don't use the stir, stirrer, is that the name? The stirrer to stir the eggs, we use the chopstick. So um, you fry the, kind of, um, it's, it's similar than scramble egg. So you just scramble the egg and um, the same, kind of the same step as you fry the vegetables. Fry the onion and put them together, that's it. So fry, fry, put together, right? It's that easy. So I kind of came up with this. Um, it's not about what you're cooking, it's about how you cook it. As I told you before, um, the very basic principle of Chinese cooking is you fry everything. Um, whatever you want to eat, whatever you want to cook, you kind of just fry it and um, put whatever ingredients or whatever um, flavor you want to add into. Um, I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to do a lot of things, but um, kind of just impossible. I was trying to get to the two websites about um, King's Garden and Red Ginger because that's one, um, two of the best Chinese restaurants in local. But um, unfortunately, I tried to log in the website for like several times, but that's what it popped out. Okay, um, the super page powered website you are looking for is no longer available. Probably they just forgot to pay the annual fee. Anyway, um, it's very easy to find. King's Garden, it's um, in Cranston, if you ever heard of that Chinese small um, mini American market. Yep, yep, that's the one. Um, or I can give the address later if you are interested. Um, they are, they have, oh, I have two manuals from them. They have the best dim sum. They actually, um, if I take a look. They have the, anybody know what is dim sum? Yeah, okay, okay, cool. Dim sum, it's, um, um, it's like a bombs, dumplings, you know, things like that. They have the best in Rhode Island. I'm not saying it's in New England, but they are the best in um, Rhode Island. And the price is pretty reasonable. It's like two or three dollars. You can get three or four of them. So it's a good place to go. And Red Ginger is a very, very good um, traditional or typical Chinese food restaurant. Because um, if you are American student, if you want to go there, you might want to take the menu and go all the way to the back. They have a special manual for um, Chinese people, but they do have the English translation though, so you can still take a look. But remember, just remember, go all the way to the back of the menu. Okay? And this is, um, or for American students or non-Chinese um, students, if you uh, really love Chinese food or have a passion for that, um, I'm not sure if I can open the website. This, okay. this restaurant is a um, American-owned um, Chinese restaurant. It's a it's a franchise franchise store. Um, they actually started in Texas, and they will be open 1,500 next year, all around U.S. So it's it's um it's very like all those operation um, procedure, all the um you can even take out. I mean, it's very American style, but the foods. Are Chinese foods, and um, I actually tried them when I was in Texas. It's pretty good if you um, want to try. You know, wait until they open. You know, um, name is Mama Foods. Okay. 
So basically that saw the um, procedures of how to cook Chinese food. But if you want to throw a party or you know want to get some different style of foods when when you are um, you know over to friend's house or you want you might friend um, to come over to your house, I can definitely help you out. You know, cook some Chinese food, and you can email me with any question or get some secret recipe or something. Okay, that's it. Thank you.